If you've been following the sport of track and field over the previous few weeks, you'll know that a ridiculous amount of records have recently been broken, and many of them have been at this year's United States Olympic Trials. Recently, we saw the 17-year-old phenom Arian Knighton take down Usain Bolt's previous world youth record and world junior records, running a time of 19.88 seconds in the qualifying rounds. And then upon reaching the finals, this high school athlete managed to finish in third place, becoming the youngest male American track and field athlete since Jim Ryan to qualify for the Olympics. Oh yeah, he also lowered his world junior record again in these finals, hitting an incredible mark of 19.84 seconds. So keep your eyes on this kid, because he certainly has a very bright future ahead of him. Just a few hours before this performance, we saw the 19-year-old Thing Mo run a miraculous 800-meter time of 1 minute 56.07 seconds, a mark that not only shattered the previous Olympic trials record, but it now places her as the third fastest junior athlete in history. Lastly, we have to give a huge shout out to the one and only Rye Benjamin, who not only torched the field in this 400 hurdles final, but he ran the second fastest time ever finishing in 46.83 seconds, a mere 5 one hundredths of a second shy of the world record of Kevin Young, which goes all the way back to the 1992 Olympic Games. These were but a few of the incredible moments of the past few days. However, standing far above these already epic track and field moments is none other than Sydney McLaughlin in the women's 400 meter hurdles, who achieved an absolutely ridiculous time. Coming into this 400 hurdles final, McLaughlin, who is still only 21 years of age, is already considered one of the greatest 400 meter hurdle athletes to ever compete. In 2019, she won the world silver medal, finishing with a time of 52.23 seconds. And while this performance was the second fastest time ever run in this event, it just so happened that the world record time was achieved in the same race, as Delilah Muhammad dropped a stunning time of 52.16 seconds to take the gold. As you can clearly see, these two were far ahead of anyone else in this race, and they both stamped their dominance in this event. These two American athletes seemingly always bring out the absolute best in each other, and upon reaching these Olympic trials, this 400 hurdles showdown was one of the most anticipated matchups of the entire competition. And while both runners had been performing quite well in the preliminary heats, absolutely no one was prepared for just how fast this race would be. Through the opening 200 meters of this final, Delilah Muhammad out in lane seven, blasted out to a sizable lead over McLaughlin in lane six, but just as quickly as she had gained this lead, McLaughlin had already pulled even by the 200 meter mark. Coming around the back stretch, Muhammad again put a few meters on McLaughlin, and it did seem as though we were witnessing a similar race to the 2019 World Championships. However, over these final 100 meters, McLaughlin absolutely rocketed away from Muhammad, going on to break the world record with a time of 51.90 seconds, making her the very first female athlete in history to run under 52 seconds for the 400 hurdles. Now, it goes without saying that this performance was stunning. Even McLaughlin, who had to know that she was in world record shape, was completely speechless after this performance, and rightly so. I mean, 51.90 is simply remarkable. For the previous few years building up to this event, McLaughlin has been the centerpiece in almost every world record conversation in this event, and after years and years of fantastic performances and international championship placements, she has finally earned the title as the single fastest female athlete ever in this event. Indeed, this 51.9 was historic, and it certainly makes her the gold medal favorite for this summer's Olympics. However, this world record performance is only the tip of the iceberg to just how incredible her career has already been. If we go back all the way to 2016, at only 16 years of age, McLaughlin incredibly managed to qualify for the Rio Olympic Games in the 400 hurdles, and with a finishing time of 54.15, she broke both the world youth record and the world junior record with this one amazing performance, and to this day, she still is the fastest ever in both world record categories. After this fantastic Olympic qualification, 
McLaughlin only continued her high school domination as her 2017 season was truly historic. On May 12th, she broke the national high school record in the indoor 400, running a time of 51.61. Following this performance, just one month later, she opened her outdoor campaign by absolutely shattering the national high school record in the 300 meter hurdles, hitting a time of 38.90 seconds, a time that still ranks as the North American record, and it also currently places her number four on the all-time list. And don't forget, she was still only 17 years old at the time. Throughout her entire senior year of high school, she went completely undefeated in any high school event, typically winning by massive margins over her competition. And while these high school victories were certainly impressive, one specific performance was certainly the absolute greatest of her high school career. At the 2017 New Balance Outdoor Nationals, McLaughlin was set to run the anchor leg on her 4x400 meter relay. And as you can see, she received this baton around three seconds behind the leader. This gap was enormous. I mean, it was huge. And for much of this anchor leg, McLaughlin wasn't even within camera shot here. But against all odds, down the final home stretch, she pulled out a miraculous anchor leg winning the 4x400 meter relay and breaking the national record, and for her final leg, she achieved a time of 49.85 seconds. Absolutely ridiculous. Whether it was the adrenaline rush of chasing down the front athletes, or McLaughlin just had the perfect day here, this sub 50 second 400 split was absolutely mind-blowing, and following this amazing performance, it left every single college scout in the nation tripping over themselves to get McLaughlin on their team. After her incredible high school campaign, which included various high school records which still stand today, she enrolled at the University of Kentucky, where, as you can imagine, she only continued her breathtaking running. For her opening collegiate year, McLaughlin set a new world junior record in the 400. She eventually went on to win the 2018 NCAA Championships in the 400 hurdles. However, the race that really shocked the world was her 2018 SEC Championship victory, where she annihilated the world junior record in the 400 hurdles, hitting an almost inconceivable time of 52.75 seconds, a time that places her well over a second and a half over the next closest junior competitor. With so many amazing performances at such a young age, it was only a matter of time before she turned pro, and by her mid-2018 season, McLaughlin had finally announced that she would be starting her professional career with New Balance. This brings us back to the 2021 season. After years and years of novel breakthroughs and various World Junior records, McLaughlin is still maintaining her greatness amongst her peers, except this time, she has now managed to become the very first athlete to ever run under 52 seconds in the 400 hurdles. Indeed, she is without question the favorite going into this summer's Olympic Games in this event. And if she can stay fit, healthy, and injury-free, who knows? she very well could go on to shatter her own world record yet again. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.